The Pontifical Academy of Sciences, like the entire world scientific community, considers that there's no debate about climate change or the fact that human beings have a, the major role in it. Those who try to spread misinformation about climate change are simply wrong and are doing that for some other aim. Like all members of the Pontifical Academy of Sciences, I've had the chance to meet Pope Francis briefly and found him to be just as affable and charming and charismatic as he seems to be and as he's widely considered justifiably. Pope Francis is a great communicator and I think it comes from his background in Argentina where he consistently dealt with the problems of the poor and came face to face with the kinds of issues that are destroying the world at the present time. Among the important elements of the encyclical that I think will surprise people or may interest them if they haven't thought about it are the acceptance of scientific findings as such. Many people distort or ignore them for one reason or another and this encyclical really lays the foundation for accepting them and then thinking about what to do about it together. Not only is the living world essential to our survival in terms of safeguarding our soils and water and climate worldwide, but if we destroy it simply, simply mindlessly because of short-term gain of one kind or another, personal, corporate, national, we'll face a very uncertain future in which what we consider to be civilization will be unlikely to last more than 30 or 60 years simply because things are getting to be too difficult. That's what Pope Francis has brought out so well in the encyclical just issued.